Well, a new study from Sutter Health reveals disparities when it comes to COVID-19 mm -hmm. and the treatment of people of color. The study found a delay because of a common medical device. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias joins us live now in the studio to explain the disturbing findings. Roxanne. Chris and Laura, the study found pulse oximeters or the device placed on a patient's finger to read blood oxygen levels through the skin could have given false readings, and that's because of a person's pigment. The black community was one of the most at risk during the peak of COVID. Our community was a lot more vulnerable when it came to COVID. So factor that in um, along with the lack of access to the vaccine. This on top of the new study from Sutter Health linking bias in medical technology to clinical COVID care. The study confirmed that pulse oximeter systematically overestimates oxygen levels for black individuals due to the device's inability to accurately read oxygen levels on darker skinned individuals. Doctors say it was the deciding factor between mild and severe disease since the guidelines for treatment are dependent on the readings from these devices. The pulse oximeter may have contributed to the disparities in outcomes, mainly the thousands of deaths of people of color uh, from this novel disease. So because of existing treatment guidelines, which use the pulse ox level as a key trigger for clinical action, was associated with around a five hour delay in COVID-19 treatment for black patients, as well as delays in time to supplemental oxygen, dexamethasone treatment. And a greater chance patients would be sent home from the emergency department. Sutter Health says the research is just one component of its comprehensive approach to uncovering bias within medicine. This clearly needs to be corrected immediately, both by the regulatory bodies and the manufacturers um, and healthcare providers are going to need to replace um, these devices with accurate devices. The California Black Health Network agrees. From a policy perspective, you know, we are trying to do our part to um, prioritize addressing these issues at the system level of healthcare. To further their efforts, Sutter Health and other partners plan on hosting a symposium around unconscious bias and health care, and that's happening next month. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that means that they're planning to talk about solutions at that conference, right? I believe that's the main reason that they're wanting to do something like that. Okay, well, we thank you for bringing this disturbing information to our attention. At least now we know, and we can move forward with mm -hmm. that information. Roxanne, thank you.